Welcome, let's take a look at our top story this hour. Sweden, once hailed for its effective response towards COVID-19, is facing one of its worst phases of the pandemic. Earlier today, the country's public health agency reported its second highest spike in new cases ever since the pandemic hit the world, making Sweden one of the worst victims of the crisis among the Nordic nations. Now, Sweden's death toll due to the novel coronavirus has crossed the 5,000 mark, with exactly 5,041 people dead. Sweden's mortality rate from COVID-19 is being considered the worst in the world, and the contagion rate has started shooting up more than anywhere else in the Nordic region. Unlike its other Scandinavian neighbours, where governments impose strict lockdown measures, Sweden just advised and hoped its citizens would maintain social distancing norms and left the society open. The government adopted a softer approach to tackle the virus and also decided to leave shops, restaurants and even schools open throughout the pandemic. Analysts in Sweden believe that a softer approach would help Sweden stabilise its economy. However, the country's high death rate and rising contagion rate has put the country in a grave situation. Experts and critics of the government are questioning the methods adopted and have warned about a second wave of infections. The government of Sweden has remained defiant and has ruled out options to change strategies now. Prime Minister Stefan Löfven has also insisted that Sweden's strategy is the correct one and said that short-term lockdowns would not help fight COVID-19 as the virus is likely to be around for a long time. As of now, the lethal virus has infected over 54,000 and has killed more than 5,000 in Sweden. Now we are being joined by our correspondent Lucy Hugh live from Brussels for more on this good afternoon to you Lucy. Now Sweden has taken a very different approach from most other countries not going under strict lockdowns and now this doesn't seem to have had the desired effect. Yes, and I think a lot of people here in Europe have been making comparisons between Sweden and its neighboring Norway in terms of approach. Sweden, as you were outlining there, going for an, a flexible approach to its lockdown. Uh, gambling, I think, on uh, the fact that herd immunity would, would prove to be the case, uh, something that the UK also tried out at the beginning of the pandemic, but then imposed a full lockdown like uh, other European countries. Sweden instead went for a flexible approach, uh, imposing voluntary social distancing, uh, relying on people to take responsibility uh, for things like, you know, safe distance of 1.5 meters in cafes and restaurants. But those businesses remained open. If you contrast that with Norway, which imposed a full lockdown at a really, relatively early stage of the crisis, at the moment its death rate is 44 deaths in a million. You compare that to Sweden, uh, which is on over 440 deaths in a million. And, and as you say, that grim milestone of over 5,000 deaths passed in the last uh, 24 hours. Particularly the issue has been in care homes. The Swedish government maintains that its approach has been the right one, but it says that there have been structural and societal problems uh, I with uh, Swedish society uh, that meant that the virus has been able to spread in care homes and those deaths of, of vulnerable elderly people uh, make up a large percentage of the death toll that has been reported in the last 24 hours. Right. And Lucy, the government of Sweden has remained defiant and they have ruled out any options to change their strategies now. Yes, the government has, has really defended its record on this, as well as its chief medical advisers as well. And, but I think what we are seeing is, is the government starting to fracture slightly. We're seeing from opposition parties increasing uh, criticism of the government's approach as public opinion starts to shift against uh, what Sweden started to do at the, at the beginning of this crisis. You know, initially here in Europe, we were watching the extraordinary scenes of, of people in big cities like Stockholm able to enjoy a beer or a coffee outside whilst the majority of the continent was under lockdown. Millions of people living under strict lockdown conditions. But we are seeing public opinion starting to, to shift against what the government decided to do. Uh, and certainly some vocal opposition uh, from opposition uh, party leaders. But nonetheless, the Swedish Prime Minister says that this approach was the right one, that perhaps uh, you know, there is a price to pay in terms of the health crisis, but that this better equips Sweden's economy to come out of the pandemic. Lucy, thank you very much for that report. That's our correspondent, Lucy, who coming to us live from Brussels for the latest on COVID-19 